Hey, good morning, rock stars. This is Beth Azor, and this is the Retail Leasing Playbook Podcast. My podcast covers chapters in my book, the Retail Leasing Playbook, chapter by chapter. Today, we're going to discuss chapter 29, Create and Stick to a Canvassing Plan. I talk about Stephen Covey's quote, goals are pure fantasy unless you have a specific plan to achieve them. That's how I feel about canvassing. When you go out canvassing, you should have a plan. Are you going to be doing target canvassing, meaning visit all of the bike shops in a 10 mile radius? Are you going to be doing market canvassing, meaning you go to the next town over and you hit center by center by center? What is your canvassing plan? What time are you going to start? Do you have your flyers? Are you going to go alone? Are you going to go with a coworker, a peer, a competitor? Are you going to be focused on a certain space? Maybe you have a second gen restaurant space that's got a lot of infrastructure that would be very valuable to restaurants. Do you have a flyer to take for that second gen restaurant space? Do you look good? Do you feel good? Have you been in a funk? Are you going canvassing to get out of the funk? Are you on a high? Are you going canvassing because you uh, are excited to announce to the local market the last deal that you just signed? Be excited. Have a plan. Uh, I, I also like for all of my leasing agents, as I used to do it when I would canvass three and four days a week, I had a map posted in my office or in my cubicle, and I put dots on the map of everywhere I canvassed. That way, I could see the dots growing. The more I canvassed, the more market share I was getting. It also allowed my boss to see how much canvassing I was doing and for that person to give me input. Hey, I notice you don't have a dot down in this area. Haven't you canvassed this? There's a great center that I used to canvass down here. So having the map is a visual of what you're accomplishing in your canvassing strategy and then also tells the world how much you're doing and then help gives them an idea of where they can help. Another great thing that the map does is as you're looking at the map, you can say, oh, you know what? I haven't been in this area recently. Let me go back there. I like to, you know, my, my saying is get five no's before you give up, right? So that means canvassing each shopping center five times And I don't think we could ever run out of that opportunity. Even if you're in a small town, canvassing the the four uh, communities adjacent to your small town is uh, part of my leasing strategy when I'm leasing small towns. So that is chapter 28, 29, create and stick to a canvassing plan. I hope you guys are canvassing. Let me know in the comments below. How's that going for you? And if you like this podcast, please subscribe and share with your friends. Have a rock star day.